Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Spawncast episode 4, 2070. MVG will not be here today. Something about needing to sit Prince Harry and Meghan down for some tea and set them straight. I don't know, but anyway, we got the usual suspects. Sean Long, who sucks at Donkey Kong. Uh, first off, I'm great at Donkey Kong. Second, I want to formally apologize to the audience that last week I did not mention that I have completely sold my collection. I apologize for this and will do my best to bring it up in this episode as much as possible. Okay, cool. Hey, John. What? Hey, John. What? I sold my collection. Okay, next we got the guy whose arms look ready to punch some boulders and save Sheva. It's OJ. What up? What up? Pre-show was popping today. Uh, Jeff Keeley stopped by actually and asked if I'd dress up as as Black Keeley and officiate his wedding with Kojima. So look forward to that stream coming at the Game Awards this year. It probably won't even be the most out of place part of that show. Next up, we got returning by popular demand. It's our girl Josie. Haha, <laughs> very funny, John. I'm gone like a few weeks to have a child and you guys try and replace me. I don't know what you're talking about, Josie. You only just started the show. Miss Click is the one who's been taking time off. Try to not get yourselves mixed up. Ha ha. Women, they can't even tell themselves apart. Dudes, are you for real? Next, we got a guy who has definitely seen a dead body. It's my boy, Evan. What up? People keep DMing me about my Bob Ross painting videos. I think people misunderstood. I paint miniature figurines while dressed as Bob Ross, yes. But you only see the close-up of the figures. I don't show my Bob Ross outfit on film out of respect. Okay, cool, cool. Next up, the man that needs no intro. Spyro! That's not getting old. And finally, the guy who'd probably survive the Wastelands even without ever going into a Fallout vault. It's Dreamcast guy. What up, Max? Not much. I just got done talking to the police about a fight I got into with my roommate. He tried to run me through with a samurai sword because he thought I sounded too much like Waluigi. What do you guys think? Wa 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 Luigi. Okay, great. So we can get into what we've been playing this. I'll have to stop you there, John. Oh, good. Nate's here. I need to set the record straight. I've had a lot of people messaging me and threatening me over predictions I've been making lately. All I have to say is fuck you people. I was not wrong about anything, nor have I ever been wrong or lied about anything. I simply believe in valid truths, but that's not lying. It's just saying something is going to happen, and then it doesn't. Things change. Look at Caitlyn Jenner. It's the same thing. Can't argue with that. We getting a Nintendo Direct soon? Yes, it'll be tomorrow, and they are going to reveal the Nintendo Super Switch Pro Advance and Knuckles featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. If this does not happen, I wasn't lying. Something just changed, just like Elliot Page. Good. That's good. Okay, so getting into some topics today. First off, I've got some great news. I finally finished beating my family. Um, okay. Are they dead? What? He's asking if you beat them to death, John. What are you guys talking about? There's no combat in the game. Wait, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? My family, Creative Studio, the Steam game I've been playing for months now and telling you guys about. That is definitely not what we thought you've been talking about. What else could I have been talking about? It's a 90s-inspired computer print studio simulator meant to capture the nostalgia of crappy PC software of yesteryear. Bro, but what about when you've been saying, I beat my family? The game has non-traditional level design, so to beat it, I tasked myself with creating one of every type of product in the creative studio. Posters, birthday invitations, flyers. Every time I make one, I consider it beating the game. So obviously, this sucker takes multiple playthroughs. I can't tell you how long it took me to get the full annual calendar ending, but I finally did it last night, so I beat it for the last time. But, well, what was all that shit last week about trigger fingers and the beating sound in the background? My family creative studio takes a lot of clicking. I could be saving that trigger energy to carry you guys in Halo. The beating noise in the background was my TV turning on accidentally, and it happened to be playing that scene from Mr. Deeds where the football player gets hit with a belt. You said at the end of the episode you had to leave early because your family was regaining consciousness. They were passed out from a day trip to Six Flags. I'm a good dad. That actually explains a lot. How could you guys not have known? I've been talking about it on Newswave a bunch. We, we don't, don't watch news waves. Spyro! Well, that hurts. What did you guys think I was talking about? Similarly to the way I like to abuse myself by falling asleep in a bunk bed made out of uh, Sega Saturn controllers, we straight up thought you were abusing your wife and children. What? That's insane. I really like those guys for the most part. 
dude, I'm not even kidding. Like a year ago, I called the cops on you. What? No way. That's not possible. We only just met like two weeks ago, Josie. Oh, screw you, man. I just want to make sure I mention that I've sold my collection and I'm currently playing everything on this little mini PC. Okay, thanks, Sean. I have fallen in love with it. He is my son now. His name is Sean Jr. That's great, Sean. We are so happy for you. We should do a whole stream later to celebrate your ascent into parenthood. I fucking hate you guys so much. Evan, just discord us, please. Okay, I got one here that asks, what game do you most regret ever discussing on the podcast? This is an easy one. I have yet to, nor will I ever escape, the bane of my existence, which is Ski Sniper. Everywhere I go, that ski sniping mother lover follows me. Like last week at that wedding I went to, the ceremony went by without a problem. Just the usual cold feet warmed by an official kiss. All were happy. Thus the reception started, and quickly everyone was becoming inebriated. Dancing, toasts, and singing filled the space as the hours ticked by until finally, someone thought of a brilliant idea. An old classic that everyone knows. Shoulder upon shoulder was grabbed, and soon the conga line had begun to grow. Smiles and kicks were shared as people joined in. The bride and groom, their parents, siblings, old friends, new friends, the officiant, the staff, all were welcome into the loving line. A memorable finale to the new couple's first official night before people went on their ways. That is, until the ski sniper popped up out of the cake and killed everyone. He then ran to the bathroom and took an upper decker in every toilet. I was the only survivor. I'm never going skiing again. Sorry to hear that, Nate. Maybe you should cry me a river of Switch Pro rumors. Let's get into some super chats. Got one here from Shamza. It reads, will OJ be on the spawn cast tonight? How much is it? Uh, Five dollars. No, I will not. Okay, nice, nice. Got one here from Jack Morning. Actually, John, I need to stop you for a second. You can talk? I'm freaking sick of keeping my mouth shut, and I need to say something. OJ is the biggest bully on the internet. Um, what? I've considered quitting this show so many freaking times because I just can't stand dealing with OJ's abuse. You freaking hear me, OJ? You're like Michael Jackson's dad. You abuse people. You're abusing me right now. What? I swear to God, if Christ can become a cracker, OJ should find a way not to abuse every single person around him. I'd rather play Metroid Other M than have to deal with him a second longer. That's how freaking miserable I am right now. Look, gameplay aside, Other M really did a fantastic job showing the raw and vulnerable side of Samus. Sorry, Josie, and I need to cut you off right quick. Bitch. Look, Jordan, I have literally no idea what you're talking about. I can beat every Bayonetta game on the hardest difficulty with the analog sticks tied to my testicles, but I can't make sense of what you're talking about. Can you clarify a little? Spyro! Got it. Moving on, we've got Super Saiyan Obama with the $10 dono asking, hey, Sean, what do you think is the equivalent of the N-word for white people? Good question. Best question we've ever gotten, really. I was actually planning on making a video about this. So personally, I obviously prefer Mayo Monkey. That's about as good as it gets. But I think Caucasian debris works just as well, especially as a classier replacement for white trash. Most white trash people won't actually understand what you're talking about when you call them Caucasian debris. So it's the perfect insult when you want to try and be offensive, but still also avoid a conflict. You should also keep Miracle Whip Lips in your back pocket at all times, just in case. What's happened to this freaking show? Gosh, everyone just sign off. I'm going to go hug my kids. OJ's mom is easier than Bayonetta on normal mode. Okay, okay. Well, he's not the homie, but you're, you're the homie, and Josie uh, is the homie, and you're I'm the homie. Everyone say goodnight dreaming. to Sean Jr. Spyro! Oh, yes, Sean Jr. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. That's why it is all black. I don't own shit anymore. I sold it all.